right, so today we are going to practice the leg yield. First, I just want to talk about what the leg yield is. It's actually a, a movement in which the horse moves forward and laterally at the same time, and they effectively yield away from the dominant leg. So what actually happens is the aids for the leg yield are inside flexion, inside leg, and some extra weight or your weight aid in the outside stirrup. Your horse is meant to be flexed away from the direction of travel. I'm going to put this into uh, dressage people would prefer that we actually practice this in the sitting trot um, and I'll probably be crucified for this but as a hunter jumper rider we actually ride the rising trot all the time sitting trot is not something we do a lot um, and my riders have the ability to more than effectively leg yield in their rising trot um, I'm just gonna go over how I'm gonna set up the ring for this lesson today and we're actually gonna review one of our lessons where we worked on this. So inside my ring, we both use both long sides, uh, one to start. We set a couple of cones about 10 feet off the rail with a couple feet in between. Uh, and then I set two more cones down at uh, the other corner that were on the rail. So what is effectively happening is our riders are leg yielding from the quarter line or a smaller quarter line um, back to the rail. And I want you to pretend that we are talking to each other face to face. And I'm going to use my inside left hand because I'm on my left rein. I'm gonna turn on the quarter line and I am going to flex my horse just slightly to the left so that I can see the corner of his or her eye. I'm going to apply my right rein, sorry, my left rein um, for that flexion. Then I'm going to apply my left leg and I'm going to lean into my outside right stirrup. My weight aid is effectively what brings my horse back to the rail. That and the fact that they like being on the rail and they're used to being on the rail. So I'm using lots of weight aids in this exercise and it's important that your body is straight for your weight aids. All right, so up next we have Mandy riding Merritt and um, Lena riding James. James is a bit greener. We're gonna watch them yield from the quarter line towards me back to the rail. Note in the video, I'm actually standing straight in line from where they come off the short side to start the leg yield. Um, and the cones or the rail is to my left. There, that got straighter. So try and get straight to the first two cones. Nice, better. Better just watch the amount of bend is off. So you can see that a couple of the problems that they run into is that, you know, we have an opening left rein, um, they're over bent, or that we have a leading left shoulder. So a couple of things to remember are that you stay parallel to the long side uh, in the yield, and that you don't over bend, because then you actually throw out the left outside shoulder and it leads back to the rail. It is a fairly straight exercise, the okay. leg. So we've obviously um, done that exercise in this lesson the other way. We've changed um, the exercise around and done it also on the right rein. And for the purposes of demonstration, I've kind of skip skipped that. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to yield from the rail back to the quarter line. It isn't quite the quarter line. It's about 10 feet off the rail. Um, but when we're first schooling it, we don't want to uh, make it so far that it's hard for our riders to achieve, our horses to achieve, so that they still get to achieve success. I call that setting our riders up for success. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and I'll show you that right now.
Okay, so keep in mind that we are leg yielding from the rail back to the quarter line or what we're going to call the quarter line today. Um, remember that the horse needs to be bent away from the direction of travel, meaning this, this direction on the left rein, the horse should be bent to the rail and then moving away. You're going to use your right leg to ask the horse to move over and you're going to stand a little bit heavier in your left stirrup to use your weight aid. You also may need a bit of a half fault, a little more so moving away from the rail because it's not as comfortable for the horse. And when you put your inside leg on, which is the right leg, because it's the inside of bend, you are going to give a half fault to tell the horse no, not faster, but over. Okay, and that half fault, depending on what your horse is doing at the time, may be both reins. It also may be the only rein, or the outside rein, because your horse may be overbent a bit to the right. Um, so keep all of that in mind um, when you're riding it. You can see from the video as well that some of the problems that they ran into was that there was too much opening left rein. Uh, you can see that on James because he's a bit greener. Um, too much flexion to the, uh, to the rail. Um, and a little bit more forward rather than laterally moving. So to summarize, it's... Better to get a little bit than get over bent. Don't teach the horse to be bent um, or flexed incorrectly. It's much better to just achieve a few steps over and then build upon that. Set yourself up for success when you, when you set up this exercise. Give yourself lots of room to be able to get the leg yield. If you get back to your point that you need to be earlier, that's great. If you don't quite make it, that's okay too. We try again next time. Leg yield is one of the real basics where it's we first start to ask the horse to move over uh, versus go faster when we put leg on. So taking the time to build that correct foundation in the leg yield is really important um, and, and to make it a stress-free exercise for your horse. If you have any questions about the video, please feel free to comment or um, make sure you subscribe, absolutely, so you can see more of these videos. And um, see you soon.